Hey guys, it's Guinea Girl 5920. So today I just want to show you some stuff I made. This is what I've been working on for a while. I apologize for not posting videos in a long time. I was really sick and I had this huge project for school. And oh my god, it was so crazy. But yeah, so in between all that craziness, I got this bridle done. It is a cross country bridle. I made it for the Cleveland Bay. It's a little bit foggy, but um, so it's a split bridle. If you go to my website, you'll see what a split bridle is. Basically, this crown piece and stuff has been split, like real bridle. So these, this strap and this strap are just split in half. So really, that's the same strap actually. It has a raised crown piece. I'm sorry, brow band and nose band. that. I'm really happy with it. And also, it also has a flash attachment. It comes off if you really want to take it off. You can see that it's actually been, the um, cheek piece there has actually been put in the nose piece instead of just, you know, glued over it. I thought it added a little bit of detail. And my newest bit, I think that one looks really awesome. I made that. It's a little bit different from the other one I did in, in the tutorial. I've been experimenting with them a bit. And it has keepers. Yeah, they actually work. And as you can see there's also stitch marks there. Working buckles. And I have rubber reins. It's just nylon, but I mean, it looks a bit like rubber reins. has a buckle at the end because reins usually have buckles at the end and all this lace has been extremely thinned so this entire bridle took over three hours because there was just so much thinning involved usually I make them quite a bit faster but yeah so the having the leather thin on your bridles is a new option online it's five dollars more if you want a bridle like that um I also want to let you know that on my website Everything's a little bit chaotic on there. I was going through a major price change because I was pricing my stuff weird before. Um, now I'm pricing it by like an hourly approximately how long it'll take me. Um, so that's just a heads up. We didn't realize it zoomed in. So there's that. Um, so right now everything's like all the prices are weird and they're like some things are really expensive right now and other things are crazy cheap still. So, uh, just all prices are final, even though they're crazy, but, uh, I know they're crazy. I'm going through my list of tack and seeing approximately how long it takes me to make stuff so I can change my prices, because I really, I didn't realize it before, but I wasn't even making $2 an hour before, and that's really crazy. Like, for some things, like halters, I was getting a gun out. So halters are still $5 if you want one. They are $5. Super cheap, LSQ, working buckles, everything. And, um, I don't know, sometimes it kind of gets on my nerves when people say their stuff is LSQ when they don't know what LSQ means, or the fact that it is obviously not LSQ. So please find out if yours is actually LSQ before you say that. Like, this bridle, I'm very happy with it, but I'm honestly not sure if it's LSQ. I would say PSQ at least, because I think it looks pretty good on camera. Sorry, yeah, I'm still a little bit sick. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Tell me what you think on this bridle. If I can fix anything, I really want to know that. Um, I'm pretty happy with it, but I mean, you may not. They are for sale if you want one. So go check my website, and if you want, you can see that. Um, also on my website, you will notice that the options are a bit limited, like the extras on there that you can add to your stuff. like. I don't know if I have a flash attachment on there yet. That might have not be on there yet. But if there's something on there that isn't, I haven't added yet, always feel free to ask for it. Like if it's an extra, just say, you know, I really want a English bridle without a cavison. Can you do that? And I will say, yes, I can. In fact, that will lessen the price.
because cabsons could be a pain to make. Um, so again, thank you so much for watching. Look at other videos. I have to do a tutorial on a western bridal. I'm so sorry. My voice was just terrible. I could not make a tutorial like that. You'd be like, wait, what? What? Stop coughing. What? The entire video. Um, so I apologize. Sorry about that. I know you guys have been looking forward to that. Also, I've been forgetting to say, but if you go on my channel, so click my name or whatever, go to the about section and there will be like a little news area and it'll show what videos are next, you know, and I'll tell you when I have video commissions open and all that. Oh, that's the base I made. I made that a while ago. It has little details on it. But uh, yeah, anyway, so comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out the About tab on my channel to see updates and stuff. Ooh, my guinea pig went up her ramp. But yeah, my tack books are still open. Everything I will make it except English saddles and Western saddles. Everything else I will make that. School is going to be out in uh, like four weeks or so. So I will be making Western saddles then. So if you really want to, I guess you can uh, hold a slot now. You can hold a slot for Western saddles. So those will be open soon. You can view my website for pictures of them. Um, thank you so much for watching. And view the description for more details on my tech. Bye!